Hello Capricorn viewers. So as a lot of you guys know, I was just in Seattle, Washington, um, or Seattle County, I should say, trying to find the soulmate I have been telepathically connecting with. Um, but I am back home in California now, so I'm ready to get into some readings. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Waiting, hoping, praying. Dreams, visions, telepathy. True love, potential life partner. Okay. Soulmate. Past life connection, soulmate, soul contract. This is good energy. You guys have some big changes coming up here, it looks like. Pride and stubbornness. Mental instability. Choose a path. Okay. Let me, sorry. It's a little bit better. We're almost there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Choose a path. What else? End of a pattern or cycle. Breakthrough freedom. Hmm. Manipulation and deception. But that's what you're ending. That's what you're coming out of. Or you've just come out of. Looks like a lot's changed for you guys in the past month because the story I was getting before is that there's some kind of miscommunication with the secret admirer that they think you're out of their league. This was someone that you might be running into like at work or maybe like um, at like a coffee shop or like a grocery store, like someone you see regularly, but like they don't, they're kind of shy and like maybe they're trying to get your attention, but you weren't recognizing it or vice versa. Maybe you're trying to get their attention and they're just kind of in their head too much. But this was like a shy, stupid admirer type. And that was the story. And this story seems a lot different. So I don't know what's going on with you guys. It's been like a month. Because like I said, I was just in Washington trying to find this person I've been channeling. Which I don't even know if he's in Washington for sure. But um, I haven't done my readings for about a month now. So I'm just coming back in. And it's interesting how much things have changed for you guys. So I... Hmm... It feels like either someone new has come in, maybe the divine has kind of gotten tired of this person being so shy and so insecure, like it was kind of like this person was right for you, but it's like they're they're taking too long to, you know, step up and get the courage to really make a move on you, even though they want to. Um, or for others, maybe some of you have just, maybe things have just progressed with this you could admire. Maybe you guys, maybe you asked them out or maybe they asked you out. Maybe something has actually shifted with them. Um, cause I don't know if it's a secret admirer or someone else that's just come in or coming in. Like maybe your guides are getting fed up with the secret admirer because they're taking too long. I don't know what this, I don't know what's going on here with this. Um, it's just interesting how much things are shifting here because you've got a potential life partner coming in. And this is something that you've been waiting for, hoping for, praying for something you've really been trying to manifest. And I feel like you might be telepathically picking up on this person's energy as well. Like you'd be having dreams, visions about them. And this is a potential life partner. This is true love. Um, this is a soulmate. There is a soul contract here. This is a past life connection as well as what I'm feeling that you guys have been together for a very long time. Um, could even be a twin flame for some of you. But there's a lot going on here. I feel like... I feel like this person has come in unexpectedly or they're about to come in unexpectedly. Like you're... I don't want to say it's unexpected because I do feel like you guys are telepathically communicating and it's interesting this energy because I keep channeling that my person is an earth sign and I've been looking for them and I'm like oh this Capricorn energy kind of resonates with my story too it's interesting 
Um, Cause I'm kind of in that same boat where I'm like having, you know, dreams, visions, telepathic communication, but I haven't met this person. So it's like, when I say it's like unexpected, it's like, like part of you expects it, but you don't, you might not know who this person is, or it might just, you know what I mean? It might just be kind of sudden, or you might be looking for it. And then it's like, you find it where you at least think you would find it. Does that make sense? But, um, but yeah, there's a lot going on telepathically here. There's a lot going on in the psychic realm and this is a potential life partner. And I feel like someone's going to get jealous here because they're going to feel this energy. Some, there's going to be an ex from your past. that's going to get jealous. Someone that was very mentally unstable and prideful and stubborn, and they kind of thought they could have their cake and eat it too. They thought they could keep you on hold. They thought they could do whatever they wanted. They thought they could, you know, maybe the grass would be greener on the other side. They could go out and live their life and they could come back to you when it suited them. And, um, you know, just, you see this energy, it's not good energy. It's just not good energy here. And they're going to sense because this connection, this telepathic connection is so strong. Like you guys are like having dreams about each other. You're maybe you're just feeling it. Like you're just like, you're feeling it or they're feeling it. Someone's feeling this, like they're about to meet their person. You know, like you can just tell that it's like your time. Like this is, this is your year for that. It's you've gone through the karmic lessons. You've gone through the healing. You've been through hell and back. It is your time for love. It is your time for your life partner. You've gone through enough already. And you know that you can sense that you can sense the time is now. Um, but like I said, someone, you're going to have to choose between two people because someone that's kind of mentally unstable that didn't see what they had with you before, they were too blind to see what, what was right in front of them. Um, and it could, it might not even be that they're toxic. It could just be like they're, they were insecure and afraid and like their um, anxieties got the best of them. Like they just didn't, you know, realize someone could love them. So they kind of messed things up. And honestly, this could actually be the... Um, this could be the secret admirer, to be honest, like, cause I did get a very shy kind of insecure energy from the secret admirer, which is a person I've been channeling for you guys for months now. And maybe it's like, they're oblivious to it, but maybe they're going to feel like, okay, I can like, they're going to get the sense that you're about to meet someone new. Cause like their spirit guides or your, your spirit guides are probably connecting with this person and saying like, hey, you didn't get it together fast enough. Like, I get that you might be a good person deep down, but you're too shy. You're too insecure. Like, we've been throwing, you know, love right in front of your face and you keep like not making a move to, you know, to this person, to this secret admirer. Like, they might be kind of saying that, like your spirit guides might be saying that to them. Like, sorry, you took too long. So, you know, they don't want you to be alone anymore. So they're, they might be bringing you someone new instead, someone who's more confident, more assertive. And, you know, that might be what it takes to get the secret admirer to get past the shyness and the fear and the insecurities and anxieties to kind of step up. They might be like, oh, wow, like I have I can step out of my comfort zone or I can keep being shy and timid and I can lose my person for good. Um, so you're going to be choosing a path. You're going to have two love offers here this year. Uh, you're going to have two potential life partners. I feel I honestly, I personally, the, the secret admirer is very sweet, but I would almost want to go for the one that's more like assertive here. And you're ending a pattern. You're ending a cycle. You're having this breakthrough, this freedom, ending a pattern of being manipulated, deceived, being blindfolded, being just kind of stagnant energy is what I'm getting from this card for this particular spread. And if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into it, just send me an email. I do paid private readings. Um, the email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. It is right below in the description box. <clears throat> Any donations are appreciated too. My donation links are below and please subscribe if this resonates with you. Traps blocked tied up. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that took too long with you and now they're having the willpower and the strength and the confidence 
to come forward because they're like, okay, I can either stay trapped and I can stay shy and awkward and stagnant and they can lose you to this other person or they can have, they can summon their willpower, their strength and their confidence to take the blindfold off and cut away whatever's holding them back and come forward and fight for you. For some of you, it could actually be that your person, your true love that's coming in might have two potential options. So it's just kind of giving you like a warning. You might have some competition ahead of you. Um, but I mean, I feel like the person that's like assertive and dominant is the person that's going to be chosen here though. And I think that's you. So if that's, if that's, like I said, the roles could be reversed here. So it could be that you're the potential life partner that's coming into this person's life and you're kind of in that, um, you know, kind of masculine male or female, just in like that kind of alpha kind of masculine energy. And, you know, you might have this person that's kind of shy and insecure, kind of fighting for your person and trying to pull them back in. But I feel like you're going to win that fight because they're going to realize they're going to feel safe with you. They're going to feel like you're like a protector, a provider type. Um, so you're going to be okay, but it's just kind of like a warning, like don't get too comfortable and think that you just have this person and this is it. You know what I mean? Like you still have to kind of prove yourself um, if you're in that, if, if that's your story, you know what I mean? But, but you no, know, roles could be reversed. Just take what resonates. Um, cause I mean, always use your, you know, this is either your energy group or it isn't, but I mean, if it is, then, you know, there might be variations of like little, just little variations of this story. Like you might see this as like a family member that you're breaking free from right now or something of that nature. You know what I mean? Like just use your intuition when you interpret these cards as well. Yes, yeah, someone, the secret admirer is probably going to be creeping on your social media, trying to reconcile. Either, like I said, either on your social media, like you're going to have these two options or you're going to meet someone and you guys are going to start something together, but then they're going to have this second option of this person that tries to crawl back into their life. So it's kind of saying protect, you know, protect, protect this connection. The dominant one is going to win pretty much. Okay, what other messages do we have here? Cold, guarded, distrusting. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. So you might meet this person through traveling or they might be traveling to you to find you. Um... It's like one of you is kind of cold and guarded and distrusting now and like kind of numb. And this like this new start is going to be getting you out of this like this, you know, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Because they could have a motorcycle as well for some of you. Uh, nostalgia, longing. Nostalgia, longing. That's interesting. And someone's going to get nostalgic because they're going to feel this energy. They're going to feel, because this true love is amazing. This is like, this is something that you have not had before, or they haven't had it before. Or both of you, both of you probably haven't had this before. This is like, you guys are probably both like entrepreneurs or you both, some of you might have like your own, like, um, your own businesses, like that kind of like, this is like a power couple right here. And it's going to be, you're going to be living your best lives together. And that's going to make people jealous. So you're going to have people either on their end or your end or both that are going to want that are going to want to like, you know, they're going to get nostalgic. They're going to be like, because they're going to feel it. You know what I mean? Like they can feel that you're about to be with your person that you're going to marry, like that you're going to probably spend your life with. And so anyone from the past that still has feelings from you is going to try to like creep back up probably because they're going to feel that energy shift and they're going to kind of panic and they're going to want to message you. So it's kind of saying be aware of that on your end and also on your person's end, like, you know, protect this connection basically because this might be coming in fast, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. I almost wonder if my person's a Capricorn too. I don't even know. I haven't even met him. I've just been channeling him. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> but there's going to be some stuff coming in fast, both old love and new love that you're just going to be like, what? Like, what the hell is going on? What? I just met my true love at a gas station. Like, <laughs> like that kind of energy. Yeah, new love, fading encounter, fast. Something's coming in fast for you. And yeah, your exes are going to be sad. They're going to regret how toxic they were. They're going to regret... 
Yeah. <laughs> Your exes are going to be sad. They're going to regret all the ways they messed up. Um, letting you go because they're going to feel it. Like I said, they're going to feel like you're about to be with your forever person. So it's just kind of a warning here. Like you have a bun, like this year is going to be your year. It's going to, there's going to be abundance. Like there is going to be true love coming in for you this year. Like I do feel like you guys are going to be in a serious relationship with your life partner, probably soon, probably this summer, but at the very least by the end of the year is what I'm feeling for you guys. Um, and like I said, your exes are not going to be very happy about it. They're going to feel that because your energy is going to shift too. And you're going to be more free spirited and more open and like more like more fun, like more down to earth because it's like you're not like numb and, and sad and like stagnant and just bored with your life. You know what I mean? Like you're already coming out of that energy and trying to like live your best life. I'm not saying you're not, but I'm just saying like when you're with this person, it's like going to be amplified, like where you guys can like travel together um, or you're traveling to them. They're traveling to you like just like major shifts here like lots of energy shifts like lots of just lots of new energy coming in for you guys is what I'm feeling here um but it's just kind of like a warning it's like you know get comfortable and like be relaxed and be happy and be excited about this but just you know re remember to shield yourself to shield the connection in general you know watch out for jealous people around you guys Yeah, because someone's being left behind. Someone's going to be feel isolated and alone and empty, and they're going to try to choose their words wisely and gaslight you and plan their approach to win you back. And you got to be smart. You got to be smart. You got to hesitate. You got to, you got to question this. You can't just, you know what I mean? Because they're you're a loyal person, and this true love is loyal to you. But this person from the past is not loyal to you. They're loyal to whatever they're feeling in the moment. This person is like selfish. So it's like, be smart. You know what I mean? Like. Be loyal to the people that are loyal to you is what I'm getting here. Um, but yeah, like I said, if this is your reading and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if it resonates. Any donations are appreciated as well. So thank you guys for that.